Let's talk about the delete. So to delete, we actually have, have to use the delete method, right? So we use the delete method and we add an ID in the end of our URL. This ID, we're going to use that to find the specific user we want to delete. Now by doing that, we can actually on the request param, we can say on the request, give me the parameter with this name right here. So if I put in the name of Zarazitz, it would be Zarazitz down here, right? So it's just a name that I put in here. I chose ID because that's what I'm passing in. Then there'll also be a parameter of ID here. And I could actually add another param here if I wanted to, just do this. And then that would also be available as a parameter, right? So I can put in as many as I want. Now, what are we doing? We're using something called promises now instead of the callback function that we did up here. So I'm saying on the user, find a user by ID and remove him. And this is the parameter you have to use, the ID you have to use to find that user. Then execute the command here. Now, when you've executed the command, then you're going to end up with a document. And this is something called a fat arrow not annotation. We'll dive more into that later. Just expect that the, the doc here will actually be, if the doc is some found, then it means that I have actually removed the user. And then I can return um, if the document is not found, I'll return a 404, meaning that I did not find the document. If the document is there, then I'll return a 204, meaning that it has been deleted from the system. And if something goes horribly wrong, I'll just return an error and pass that on to the next step in the system, so I'll get an error back. So let's try and use this now. Now, though this might not make sense right now. I just want to show you this right now just to get the full CROD setup out of the way and then we'll start using it again and again and again and at some point it just makes sense. So let's try and see if we can actually delete a user now. So what I'll do is I'll go into Postman and I'll go in and I'll say get all users. These are the users I have available in my database right now. So if I go in and I say I want to delete something now and I'll do slash ID and the ID matches the ID of John. I'll do a send. I get nothing back. That's a good thing because it's actually a 204 no content. So that was what I expected. Now let's do a get again. And now I expect John to be gone from the system. He's gone. Now only Bill is left. So I could also delete Bill if I wanted to. So I'll do a delete here and I'll add Bill in here instead. I'll do a send and now Bill is also gone. Let's do a get again with everything in here. Notice now nobody exists anymore. So let's just do a post for all the users again. And there we go. I'll just post Lars again. I'll post Ole again. I'll post John again, just using the history. And now the data is back and we can continue working with our user setup later. See you in the next lessons where we'll look at the update.